<laughs> Damn, that's a monster crappy man. I might need the net on this one. I don't know what it is, Dad. Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Mike Trone of Trone Zone Fishing. Thank you all for tuning back in. It really means a lot to us. Today I'm out on the lake with my dad, Edwin, and we're going to show you a simple technique that anyone can use to catch multiple species of fish and a lot of them. As always, we have a small wager on the big fish of the day, and we also want to keep a few fish for the fryer. I know I mentioned this in a few of my previous videos, but we don't claim to be experts. We just love to fish, have fun, and want to bring you all along as we do it. Thanks for watching, and enjoy. Dad's hooked up. This looks like a giant crappy dead. Seriously. I think I should worry about netting this thing. <laughs> Hook came out too. Yo. Oh my god. Alright, where's that anchor at? That's a monster crappy, man. <laughs> He's not getting off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good deal. Yep. Good deal. Use the wind to your advantage. <laughs> We're drifting until we catch a fish, then anchor, and then repeat the process. You can do this with a variety of lures, but I'll get into our setups in just a little bit. Perch. Yeah. Think we should anchor up? Yeah. <sighs> All right, double header perch action. <laughs> Your favorite? Oh, my favorite go. So my dad is using two ultralight rods and reels with four pound test mono and I have one ultralight setup with four pound test fluorocarbon and one medium setup with six pound test fluoro. 
and we're both using inline spinners. <laughs> I think it is a bass, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bass, right? Yep. First bass of the season. Mm-hmm. Good call. <laughs> well, he would be back up in there. Yep. Got one? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Just, we don't go down and we'll blow back. Nice perch. We focused on finding grass and reeling our spinners just above the top of the grass. This method works regardless of where you are in the world. And if there was a lake on another planet, I'm sure it would work there too. So back when this was filmed, yellow perch could be any size and you were allowed 15 per day. Crappy had to be 9 inches and you were allowed 15 per day. And any bluegill or pumpkin seed could be any size and you were allowed 15 per day. <laughs> oh no. Yep. Another pick roll. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I think the one I have is bigger than that though. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. It could have been the same one. <laughs> I got the four pound test on the gold. It's a bass. Large mouth. Nice one though. Yeah. Mm hmm Mm hmm I do. 
Nice. Nice one. If you haven't already noticed, we are not using any electronics. We don't even have a 2D graph. No live scope, active target, no X-ray vision, Ultra Pro 6000 Model S. <laughs> this is the type of fishing that anybody can do. You can get an inline spinner and reel it right above the grass, and I guarantee you, you will catch all types of species of fish. In addition, this technique works in every season of the year. Fishing does not have to be that difficult at all. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see what it was though. It's Horton again. I said it's Horton again. Dad hooks into a decent fish right here and it swims down into the grass on him and he ultimately ends up losing the fish. One of the downsides of fishing with an ultralight rod and light line is that your rod doesn't have a strong enough backbone and your line is too weak to pull the fish out of the grass. On the flip side, light line sinks slower, allowing your bait to stay above the grass. And in my opinion, lighter line is much harder for the fish to see, in turn producing more bites. Feels like a small yellow perch. Or a small bluegill. Little guy. <laughs> How many did it? Yeah. I don't know what it is, man. This thing is heavy. All right, I, I hooked them on the side. I don't, still don't know what it is, though. Ah, it's pickerel. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I thought that thing was a monster, man. <laughs> That <laughs> all right so we made it back to my dad's house and after a successful day out on the water we ended up keeping nine yellow perch three crappies and two bluegills and yes these fish were released into the grease and they were absolutely delicious i believe we made some cheese grits to go with our fried fish and you can never go wrong with that by the way, I won Big Fish of the Day with a two-pound bass. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.